are, are we live? Oh, hello. My name is Trey. Welcome to We're Gonna Change. Today we're gonna be talking about twenty months of free rent. Have you ever had that? And were you able to pay after that? Well, this takes some twists and some turns that you weren't expecting. So let's go ahead and watch the video. People on the back of today, it sounded as though we haven't been handling these matters. I know it's it's no problem. So, um, all right, and so uh, what's happening, Mr. Bolchek? Uh, we spoke earlier, and there doesn't seem to be an agreement made. Uh, they want more time than I'm willing to give them at this point because I feel like I've already given them plenty of time. Um, so, I uh, waiting a judgment, see if um, um, when they would be able to leave. All right, so if I recall correctly, uh, you moved your dad in and then Ms. Laveau and Ms. Ronick moved in as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And so Ms. Laveau, what, how much extra time are you asking for? Okay, I just started my job and I don't get paid until the 17th yeah, of June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My question was how much extra time are you asking for? Okay, I, I mean, until we get the money to move 30 days. Oh, it could be like three or four weeks. Three or four weeks. Yes, because I'm just. With a, you, you, you. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Okay, so what ended up happening is this individual, and this is explained, but y'all don't need to see it. I can explain it faster here. So what ended up happening is this uh, woman had was helping this man's father, right? So this man right here, apparently the mom and the daughter were helping this man's father, and he was, you know, giving them free rent, free utilities. Okay, but at some point some point something went awry and they weren't paying rent right so now this man is asking for rent this has been going on for 20 months okay at five months he started asking for rent but he gave them plenty of time to get there and so we get to 20 months now right and this lady over here on the right which is the mom is who you're here talking to her left is going to be her daughter they are asking for an extra 30 days, okay, to pay again. It has been 20 months at this point. This man on the this man over here is asking for them to pay it within the next 18 days. And so this court ruling is gonna say that no, you have to pay the next 18 days and the conversation's over. Right? But her excuse for not being able to do it and why they don't think they can do it in 30 days is quite interesting. Let's move forward a little bit here. Mr. Okay. Ball, Madison um, speaking, I cannot have you speaking also. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't get paid. They, I get paid bi-weekly, and they hold back a check. I won't get a full check till May, uh, June 17th. And my daughter can't do okay. it by herself. Mr. Bolchek, there you're asking for um, the 10 days. I was May going 23rd. to. I was going to give them actually until the end of May. Uh, which would be 15 months since I've asked them to leave the first time. And um, they've been staying here rent-free for the last 20, so 20 months. So I feel like I've given them more than enough time to give them through the end of this month. By the way, these random people that you're seeing in this video, this is part of jury. This didn't happen. This more than likely happened during the uh, pandemic. So these people that you're just seeing, some of these are the clerks. Um, but these random people down here, some of these people are just part of the jury duty. Have you ever been to one of these where you have to go sit in the jury duty or if you get called to it? Yeah, this is what happens. But this happens to be in Zoom because either this happened during the pandemic or they just decided to do it on Zoom, which some courts still do. All right. Well, so um, that would be an extra eight days on top of the 10 days. So that'd be 18 days. Mm. And um, so, Ms. Ronick, if you have uh, Ms. Ronick and Ms. LeBeau, you have until May 31st to move out. Or pay it. Or pay it. Let's move forward a little bit here. And then we're going to we're gonna do a little bit more of a, a deep conversation about this. Cause 754. Man, you certainly have the right to have an attorney. And, in fact, there have been multiple dates. You've had multiple times to... Um, to, know, to notify an attorney or contact an attorney, you absolutely have that right. 
But today is the big time that we're moving forward. Mr. Bolchek doesn't have an attorney, and you haven't requested an attorney prior to now. But you certainly have time that you can hire an attorney. That attorney can file any motion that they like to file. And um, and also, I'm asking for it was just to, and just wait till I was to get paid because we would not have enough money to move. And we if we live in the car, we can't get ready for work. So then we'll lose our job. And that's where I want to end it. That that is where I want to. If you want to check out more of this kind of stuff, please go to Old Squishy Gardens uh, Court Watch. Um, they have this kind of stuff all the time. I'll be probably be reacting to some of their videos as well as other channels that make this kind of content. Uh, I want to talk about the eviction process. Okay, I want to talk about what it feels like to be evicted and what you should do about it. What do I feel like is an ample amount of time. Some states say they give you 30 days. Some states give you 60. I think personally, as somebody just lost a job, I think they should get at least 90 days. Some of y'all might think that's crazy. That's me personally. But 20 months, if you give somebody almost two years, uh, yeah, I think that person should be able to pay the rent. And the fact that this lady is saying, I don't get paid till June 17th, which is going to be uh, a few, uh, two or three weeks after the man is giving you the deadline. You're saying that you're going to have to live in your car and you're saying that, oh, well, we're not going to be able to do this then. This is what I feel like is going to happen. May 31st is going to hit. They're not going to have the money <clears throat> and they're just going to sit there anyway and probably going to have to go back to court or the police are going to have to come pull them out. And that's what the whole order is about. Let me just get a little bit of water here first. I think... <laughs> I think that sometimes in this life, people really do just want to take advantage of the system, right? This man gave her 20 months to figure it out. I'll tell you what, in my case that I've ever, I have been evicted before. Uh, well, technically I've never been evicted. Like I've never been taken out of my place. I've always voluntarily left um, because me and the uh, landlord came to an agreement, but I'm just saying, I know what it feels like not to be able to pay rent. <clears throat> And what ends up happening? And I'm going to tell you the truth. When I was a young man, I'm talking like 20, 21 ish. When I was around that age, I'm not going to lie to you. I only cared about the girls in the cars. I did not care about paying my rent. And my excuse was nothing. It, it was no reason. I had a job. I was able able to pay rent. I just chose not to because I wanted to take care of my girlfriend. I wanted to go out to eat all the time. I wanted to hang out with my buddies. I wanted to go to strip clubs. I wanted to do a lot more than... Um, take care of business and take care of my bills guys i was sleeping in a mobile home with no lights in the winter right no lights and i mean when i say no lights you know what that means i didn't have any electricity so i was sitting i was sleeping in the cold every single night and by the time i finally was able to get enough help to get the electricity back on it had already gone too high i remember and this is karma for you i remember i was staying with somebody and their rent got up to because in certain cities, once it hits a certain threshold, they're going to cut off your lights, right? So I remember at one point I had my lights cut off. Uh, I mean, no, I was living with a friend and his lights got cut off at $600. And I told myself, I said, how do you get six months behind? Because electricity is only about $100 a month. I'm like, how do you get six months behind? What a bum. A year and a half later, guess who went six months without paying their electricity bill and got their lights cut off? Goofball. Yeah, I got my I got my electricity cut off after totally going after somebody, which is why I don't tend to make fun of people, because later on in my life, I remember I had made fun of somebody because they didn't have enough money for gas. And you know my, what my stupid tail did? I said, how can you not have money for gas? You broke bum. Guess who? Three days later, didn't have any gas and ran out of gas on the way to work. Not once, not twice, but three times in the exact same week. Uh, goofball, keep your mouth shut. So I'm not going to sit here and judge these ladies super harshly. I think 20 months is far enough enough time to get it together. But at the same time, I, I from what I could see, the mom didn't get involved until now, till towards the end. She was there for the last couple months. But the daughter, I'm, I'm assuming it's around 20-ish, 23, 24 She's just probably making some stupid mistakes, probably trying to live with boyfriends, trying to have boyfriends pay the rent. She's just having friends over. She don't feel like she's uh has to pay rent because she's doing this, doing that. She's just making some dumb decisions. OK, I'm not going to kill her on it. Do I think 20 months is an ample amount of time? Yes, I do. I think you're screwing over the landlord. Yes, I do think that. 
But what I am also trying to say is she's probably young and dumb. And I'm hoping she gets it together. Now, let me say this, though. If you're 30 or 40 and you can't get it together. In fact, I want to say if you're over 26 and you can't find yourself paying rent, then yeah, somebody needs to get on you. Because I have to, that's what started happening to me. When I start hitting that 26, 27 airs, and I realized, man, I got to be better about paying my bills. Because one of my problems is as I got older as well. It's not that I couldn't pay rent. It's that I would only have enough money to pay rent in the bills. I would use all the rest of my money to do stuff, right? So what I ended up finding, every time I paid rent, I'd have zero dollars, nothing, people. I would have to survive almost the entire month off of really about $25 a month because I would always go out and hang out with people and do this kind of stuff. And next thing you know, I don't have any food in the fridge, right? I don't have any gas. That was the stupid stuff that I would do because you get so caught up in this society sometimes. And you get all this stuff. Then this is why I tell you guys, you got to stay off of social media. Don't don't live on social media. Don't live on YouTube. Don't live on Instagram. Don't live on TikTok. Don't live on X. OK, because when you do that kind of stuff, you start getting caught up in the hype of feeling like you have to have things. You need to have the latest purses. You need to have the latest cars. You need to be able to take out girls. And let me talk to my men because I can relate to this more. Men, do not try to impress women with money if you don't got it. It's just a dumb way to make yourself go broke. Okay. There is no, if I don't, if a girl says she wants a man with money and you ain't a man of money, don't try to be. Okay. Just put your head down, do something else. Because when you try to do that, you try to impress women with money you don't have, you're the only one who ends up getting hurt because if you go broke and you can't pay your rent, not only do you look like a bum to her, now she's going to clown you, right? You're also not going to be able to pay your rent. Your lights might get cut off. You might not be able to have gas. You're the only one looking stupid. And I feel like that happens to young men more than ever because they get on and they see these men with money, they see these men with some men who have money and they see some scammers with money and they think having a nice car and having some girls in bikinis all over you is just something to behold. And it's not taking care of your bills, take care of your responsibility and going to work and doing what you need to do to help you get further in life to be a man. So further in life, you can help other people when you are more financially stable. That needs to be the goal. The goal should never be to hold a stack of money and put it up to your ear. The goal should never be to put money in front of people's faces. You don't need Chanel. You don't need Louis Vuitton. You don't need to be buying this stuff for women. You need to drive your 2003 Honda Civic to work every day and just do the best you can to maintain it till it can't be maintained and then buy another car for $1,200 and then you save up more money, buy another car for $5,000. You don't need to have the nicest car, okay? You don't. You do what you can with what you have, okay? And when that car is not enough, you try to buy another one. Now, I understand there is some cases where you may get a job that's far away, right? And you got to be smart. Do not take a job that's going to require you to travel if you're going to have to also get a car that you need to make payments on, right? And you have to make payments on that car. You have to pay for the insurance on that car. And you have to provide gas for that car. That is foolish. You have now added a good six, dollars $700 a month to yourself, just to go get a job that's probably not fulfilling that gap of money that you're making, if that makes any sense. So be careful when you decide to take certain jobs that's going to require you to travel more. If you can get a job that's closer at the local KFC versus getting a job at a call center that's another 10, 20 miles that's going to require you to need a better vehicle, get the job at the KFC and then put that job on the back burner. Let me tell you something. Just to go back to this uh, 20 months thing. First of all, if you have 20 months of freedom, you should use that to save as much money as possible. She'd have been fine had she done this. I want to say this. This is something that even I think about. You know, I told you guys not too long ago that I, eventually one day I'm going to move back um, to around my family. But in order to do that, I have to be smart. I can't just move off of one month's income. In order for me to move, I need to have at least six months of rent ready to go. That way, whenever I'm moving to my new place, I don't have to worry about necessarily having a job immediately. Right. So six months of being able to survive off rent and be cool. Not only that, when I move back, I own land where I live. I need to knock down my house and put a mobile home there. I need to save up for that. OK, I need to be able to save up to maintain property taxes. 
I need to be able to do a lot of stuff. So for me to move, I don't, I'm not going to say the exact number, but let's say it's thirty to forty thousand dollars I need to move back to my hometown and be okay to where I can settle down with my children and my wife, and we'd be okay for a, a good few months while I'm getting settled into my new job. That's smart thinking. But sometimes we get so caught up and we get these feelings up in us that we need to do something right now, which is why a lot of people fall behind on rent and a lot of people fall behind on bills like this young lady did. She probably thought she needed something right now. So she spent her money on that stuff. Every time we think we need to do something right now, we end up screwing ourselves over. If I felt like I needed to move right now because I feel lonely, I need to move right now because I have to get back. What if something happens? I'm going to move back to my hometown and be living in a box on the streets because Everybody knows it only takes one mess up for everything to fall. If you're not prepared for at least a year of no money, you're screwed in a lot of cases. You're screwed. You can lose your car, your house and everything that's around you. I'm saying you just need to start preparing yourself and start doing these things because the chances of somebody giving you 20 months free of rent and you still can't pay after that, you have nobody to be upset with but yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. I hope it made sense. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Have you ever had your rent go down? Have you ever failed to pay rent? And why? Was it a good excuse? Or were you just being lazy and you just wanted to impress some girl? Or for women, you just wanted to impress some girl? Because, <laughs> you know, women like to impress other women by showing how much money they have or what the fanciest clothes is and whatnot. So let me know what you think. I'm out of here. Peace.